Hello everyone and welcome to Airship Dreams where today we're going to do a brilliant science experiment with Christina from Little Science Lab. We're learning all about the science of flight inspired by airships. We'll make a rocket and see how to make it fly up into the air. Christina, over to you. Hello everybody, welcome to Little Science Lab. My name's Christina and today I'm going to talk you through some experiments where we're going to investigate the science of flight. So you can follow these experiments at school or at home. The first thing you're going to need for this experiment is a pot, just like this. I'm using a film canister. The important thing about this pot is that it has a lid that pops on the top, okay? So we don't want a lid that screws on, we want a lid that's going to pop on and pop off. So that's the first thing you need. Now, to make this pot into a rocket, we're going to need to add some fuel. And the fuel we're using today is paint, and it's paint that's watered down a little bit. And we're going to add some of this fuel into our pot. That's our first step. You can also do this with just water if you don't have any paint. So I'm going to take six mils. So I'm going to use my pipette. I'm going to put two mils in. And then I'm going to take four mils. And then I'm going to take six mils. Put that into my pot. If you're at home and don't have a pipette, don't worry. Just take a look at how much liquid is in Christina's pot. It's about a centimetre tall. Now, not, we're not going to be able to make that pot fly without adding something else. And the something else that we're going to add is one of these white tablets, about a quarter of a tablet. These tablets are Alka-Seltzer tablets. You don't have to use Alka-Seltzer tablets. You can use any tablet that is effervescent. Effervescent, that's fun to say. Try saying it, everyone. Effervescent. Now, effervescent is a tricky word, but what it means is when you add this tablet to water, it effervesces, which means a chemical reaction happens and we get some bubbles created. Look, I found these in my kitchen, multivitamins, and there we are, it says effervescent. Now, when we get bubbles in a chemical reaction, what we are seeing is a gas being produced. And in this case, the gas is called carbon dioxide. So we are gonna add our tablet to our fuel and that is going to cause a chemical reaction. I'm guessing real rockets don't use effervescent tablets, Christina. How do those massive rockets fly up into the sky? Now this is exactly what happens when you launch a real rocket into space. In the body of the rocket there's lots and lots of chemical reactions taking place which force that rocket into space and that's what we're going to investigate today. Ah, it's all about different chemical reactions and their effects. So the next thing I'm going to do, I've got my paint in my pot, I'm going to take my lid and I'm going to take my tablet and I'm going to crush it up inside the lid. So I'm just going to make really small pieces in there. So I'm going to break it up like this. Okay, so we've got lots of small pieces and that just means we've got a bigger surface area so we should get a faster reaction. And you can investigate this and see whether if you make small pieces, you can get your rocket to fly higher at home. So we have two things we need. We have our rocket body here with our fuel in, our paint, and we have our Alka-Seltzer tablet in the lid ready to introduce into that liquid. Now, when we add these two things together, we're going to collect gas molecules, but we're not gonna give those gas molecules much space. So if you look in the pot here, you'll be able to see once the lid's on, there's just this much space. Now that is not a lot of space for gas molecules to move around in because gas molecules are very much like small children. They like to have a lot of space and they like to run around and we are going to trap them inside this pot. So when we trap those molecules, all they're trying to do is escape and soon enough there will be no space left and when that happens, they will push down and try and escape out the lid. So I'm going to count to five and then we're going to put the lid on and we're going to give the pot a shake and we're going to place it upside down and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. Introduce the tablet. I'm going to pop that lid on really tight and I'm going to give it a shake and then I'm going to put it lid down onto this surface. Now it's really important that you place it on a hard surface and it's really important that that surface will be able to push down. Okay, so we're gonna watch our pot and see what happens. It's probably a good idea to do this outside or somewhere where it doesn't matter if you get it a bit messy. Was 
amazing, Christina. Can you tell us a bit more about why this reaction is happening, please? I just wanted to explain a little bit more about forces and how important they are when we talk about flight. So there was a famous scientist, you might have heard of him, his name was Sir Isaac Newton, and he thought that forces were so important that he wrote down three laws about them. And when we're doing this experiment, we're actually investigating Newton's third law, which states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, now in this pot, what we have to do is introduce an action and the action is when these gas molecules fill the pot they push down so the first action the first force is a push down and that's the gas molecules trying to escape now when they force down and push downwards we get an opposite reaction and that in this case is the pot flying up into the sky right isaac newton's third law Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Everyone, I really hope you enjoyed that and I hope you have lots of fun if you're trying this at home or at school. We'd love to hear from you about how your experiment went. Let us know and even send us a picture or a video of your experiment to hello at airshipdreams.com. For more information and more exciting videos in our Airship Dreams series, check out our website airshipdreams.com. Big thanks to Christina and she's got some more exciting experiments for us. You can check them out on our website. Go on, find them, they're brilliant. Keep airship dreaming and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Goodbye.